Hello, people of the YouTube. My name's Ashley. You can call me Ash. Welcome to my channel, Just That Weirdo Next Door. Today, as you can tell by the title, we're going to let the guides, angels, spirit, universe, whatever, decide. Really decide what today's breeding will be about because I don't know what to do. I have some topics in mind. I haven't been down. But I just haven't. I just feel like doing this. Yeah. So I'm going to draw a card from each of these decks and we're going to see what happens. What should today's topic be about? I just heard love, so let's see. What should today's topic be about? Love on the bottom. Just have to be out. Which one landed here? So, intuition. I have a feeling this might be about Twin Flames. I'm told to take this card too. Differences, black and white, yin and yang. Let's see what the guidance, gui guidance oracle has to say. Should today's pick a card topic be about? Okay, we've got quiet time. Take some quiet time alone to rest, meditate, and contemplate, and then blossoming. You are just getting started, so have patience with yourself in the process and do not give up. What you need to know about your swan flying. Hmm. What they're hiding. What they doing. Your love interest is doing. I don't know. What? Today's big god time. I knew it. So we're doing twin flame reading. I seen it. I seen it. So you got this idea. I'm like, it's gonna end up being a twin flame reading. Because it came to mind that I saw it. Like someone told me, and then I saw it happening. Here we are. Okay, so what? Oh, twin flames. Energy update. Sorry. Didn't mean to hit you. Okay, I will use Tarot Tarot. Often when they tell me which deck to use, House of Night Han is a often referred to as my tarot. So what should the James get the quad topic? So twin flames. Clarify the twin flame topic. What it should be. party situation and a pinnacle another three three of pinnacles king of wands and nine of pinnacles Going to clarify using yellow. Okay, then they have a lot to say. Get compassion. 
An easy beginning, sensitivity. E. Dying love. The arts. I think we just go find out what your twin flame's up to. Yep. Where they are energetically. What's going on? So yeah, let's do that. You can totally leave that out. Looks crooked as hell. I know it looks good. That's a little better. some cards. I'm not gonna keep this going because, you know, my readings take forever, so be back. Alright, so we had a back and we are set up. We have three groups. One is this green stone, green adventure team, something like that. Two, amethyst. Three, crystal. So, make your pick. Pick your poison. <sighs> Let's get started. Group on. Okay, wisdom. Movement. Transformation. Damn. Group one, they be working on themselves. So it's that the, the beginning was confusing. She's like, where is your twin flame energetically? What's going on with them? And your twin is they are definitely wow, I just realized movement, transformation, death. Another transformation card. Wheel of Fortune. Damn. Damn. So they're creating new perspectives, shifting their energy, choosing to see the bright side instead of the dark side. Everything is turning in their favor. They just chugga chugging along. Then you got the hair fan in reverse. Still struggling with something. It's, it's almost like they're just beginning to come out of the dark night of the soul, so they're still. It's a process. They're working on it. They will get there, though. I'm going to clarify things, get more information with my own deck. She doesn't even go here. By the way, if you want to help make this deck possible, you can donate to the channel, or you can just ask for a reading, or you can just share and subscribe and shout. Okay. Clear energies. Where is Twin Flame? I don't exactly. What else do we need to know? What's Clarify the Hierophant. Hmm. 
They're having problems deciding which direction to go in. It's like they're here to heal people, help people, trying to find their sole purpose, their sole mission. And it's like they're being guided in all different directions. <laughs> Movement here. So they're just they're struggling a little bit, but not as much as they used to. For some, most, majority, they're going to be coming into union very soon. If you are not already. If you haven't even met them yet, you'll be meeting them soon. But the key to this is to stay a positive outlook and just keep moving forward, keep working on you. Thus, if you work on you, that's going to work on them. And it'll be sunny outlook. Let's go for what advice can I give you? <clears throat> it's a golden opportunity to work on you to important doors are opening for you right now walk through them you are gonna be coming into union very soon as you saw 444 if you knew them in the past they were assholes you are an asshole just clear the energy, start anew, give them a chance. Because the universe is propelling you towards them. And everything is going to work out in your favor. The odds will be forever. you are still clinging to the past what they did if you have met them it could be past life situation what you need to do is just move forward in love trust your heart trust your guides everything is moving in the right direction moving forward and there's just all 555 five, five, so change transformation it's really pointless just to hold on to the past it's only hurting you like name one thing that is serving to constantly dwelling in the past and this could represent the past being soulmate who you are not yet over it's like you didn't get the proper closure then you need to get that closure it could be just talking to them or just meditating and finding out the truth and things on your own either way you need to get this closure things in the way they do for, it's always a reason. Now is the time to ask yourself what do you really want? What do you want so bad that you, the thought of it brings tears to your eyes because it's just out of reach and you just want it so much? Is it them? Is it doing something? You know what it is, you know what to do, you have this divine knowledge, this inner wisdom. <sighs> Stop. Ask for help, I'm hearing delegating. Is that on the bottom? It's not. So ask others for help. 
do what you need to do. <laughs> nice. Mirror imaging. Kinda. Same card. Twin flames. I could go on. I still feel like there's more being left unsaid. If you feel there's needs to be more, you can check the description box below for private reading. One question is all eleven cents, three questions, eight dollars thirty three cents. If you won't you Mom message me. And mom get distracted. She like, uh, I don't trust her prices. This seems sketch. The prices are that low because I know what it's like to not have the money to get answers when you really need them. Also, you can check out my website for testimonials. you do want a private reading you can request email or through video and I'll email you back within a day or two usually a day to let you know when your scheduled day will be and if your scheduled day changes you will know so I think You're in a really dark place right now and you're just like running in circles and you just expect everything to give a shit that you need to expect a miracle because good things are coming. That feels a little better. It feels a little left unsaid. Okay. Thank you for watching. Bye. Group two. Got sanctuary. Chaos. Peace. Ten of Pentacles. School Dolphin. Hey, Nob. What you doing? The dog is acting weird. And in a sense that what you can't see. Any sense. They're finding the calm within the storm. Like everything is just blown out of place and causing chaos and... But they are finding peace, they're grounding. Or they will find this peace in this chaos because they really feel shit flowing out of control and they're just like... I know so much love in here. We love it here. Jeff the fella done harm. You need to know, I also need to know that I can tell them. Also, I'm getting they're healing a lot of shit from the past of their childhood. They're looking forward to the future. They're looking forward to seeing you. Even if they haven't met you, even if they don't subconsciously know of the connection they've always been searching for, their other half. I see getting that because of the, the dolphins back here. That is you and me. Yeah, that's how intuition works. Into upgrading. And the unicorn magical. Fuck. They could be having issues with their job or something like Go and get up there now. Really weird. Okay, issues with their jobs. Their living situation, they could be kicked out of an apartment for some. That was rude. Could be having chaos with a karmic partner or soulmate. Or a twin flame. 
they're getting strength in whatever message they're receiving. So they're finding peace, gaining strength, being guided intuitively. They're still in the in a storm, but they are fighting through it. And the way you can help them through the storm is staying in a peaceful state of mind, doing your work. Maybe go outside. Meditation's probably gonna come out. Quiet time. Receptivity. Allow yourself to receive this will increase your intuition, energy, and ability to give to others. This is advice for you. More of go outside, get some fresh air. Feel the sun on your skin. Work on y'all in a goddess or god, depending on who's watching. You know. <sighs> Work on y'all in a you. I'll need to go to the charger. I can tell you. And expect a bright future. Be bold. Expect a bright future. Says positive energy, out happy outcome. Stay positive. Be aggressive. Stop worrying, everything is going to be fine. It feels like you're never going to be with them. It's like you keep chasing, chasing it. But they're so far away, just out of your grasp. You're chasing them. Everything will work out in perfect timing. And everything will be okay. So then you think about what's going on with them. You're probably going through something similar. It could just be emotional chaos. Stop worrying, everything will be fine. Then you got angel. So your angels and gods are guiding you through this. They are right there behind you, beside you, watching everything you do. When you think about it, it's kind of creepy. But they don't judge. They're beings of unconditional love. They know they've been through this earth experience. So they're not going to judge you. You know that meme where it shows like a statue and the angel is like covering its face and it's like my angel's one seeing me right now. So they, that's the expectation but the reality is they're probably laughing at whatever stupid shit you're doing. Intuition. Know that when you dream of your twin, when you think of your twin and you feel them around you, they're actually around you in the 5D. They're thinking of you too. Even if you haven't met them, they're... In the 5D, we all know each other. Think of a small town. Everyone knows everyone, everybody knows everything about everyone. So you know them there. They're watching over you from there. So you're never alone. So you're never separated from them. You're never separated from anyone. It's kind of creepy when you think about it.
just know that they're whatever you're going through they're going through something similar and as long as you keep your head up keep a bright outlook they're gonna mirror this and everything will be fine thank you for watching if you want a private reading check the description box below if you want some testimonials about me and Jeff you can go to my website just in the description box below if you want to follow me on social media I'm giving away a reading every Sunday or I'm going to see how that goes it's a new thing it'll be through direct message on the Instagrams and yes yeah, so that I believe is all I need to say bye have a nice day group three you gotta stack Oh, conclusion. Things are concluding. Cycles and rhythms. Leap of faith. A dog hacking up something. A lot of energy coming off of this. you are becoming in sync really like so much and also it's like you'd be you sitting side by side if you move they move they make the same movement they make the same expression you are mirroring each other so much right now and you are so close to coming together random but I feel like pointing it out I read on the Instagram star girl the practical witch she posted about how she's been studying numerology and astrology and we're currently like the moon is in Gemini or something like that I'm, I don't remember I have terrible memory but it's gonna be a time of gossiping and it's just gonna be more creative, a creative month. I was just thinking I wanna paint this. I've been creating the shit out of things. I keep painting, painting, painting. It's like I was thinking I wanna paint this. I felt like pointing that out. So if you're going through this too, now you know why. You suddenly shift and you just want to create. Anyway, things are concluding. Everything is going into harmony you are going to meet them very soon you're going to be with them soon you're going to be in union soon if you have met them and are currently in separation however it applies that you are coming together you're gaining power gaining hope clearing the energy starting fresh and you've got the nine of pentacles damn strong power couple here What else can I tell you? Kind of speaks for itself, don't it? Sun is my very happy, positive card. Things, things couldn't be brighter. Bright future. Things are moving forward in your favor. So they're gonna meet them on the 21st or 21 will mean something to you this is 12 right here but 21st came loud and clear what else can I tell you yep. the soulmate relationships are going to help you heal and propel you in the right direction they're the key to your strength. <laughs> the key to your strength. I think this the cards just speak for themselves. It's just rude. It's just unnecessary. Strength came out again.
could be a star seed, they could be a star seed, they could be in the star seed energy of very pure souls who just want to see the environment succeed, be happy, successful, and non judgmental. You could be dreaming of your twin. It's like the more you dream of them, the more you see them, have visions of them, daydream of them. It's your guides pushing it in your head to manifest it quicker. Is this a cycle? What is a cycle? A cycle of love for you and your twin. This time, you might not have been together in past lives, like something always pulled you apart. This time, you were meant to be together in this life. No matter which course, it's like you keep getting called different. This way, this way. Better just go back this way. <laughs> It's like you've been running in circles trying to find the truth, and the truth is here. You incarnated at the same time for a reason to be together. Anything else? That could be what it's like. You got inner wisdom, and I tried to toss it up here, but you just keep tossing your inner wisdom out the window. Out the window to the floor. There's no windows in this room. Anyway, you know what to do. Trust your inner wisdom and take appropriate action without delay. The meaning, if you could need to take action. By the way, Athena. Athena, up there. You know what to do. Just overthinking. Overthinking, like something comes to mind and you just you throw this. It's a cycle there. Just know that you are supplied for today and all tomorrows with knowledge, with power, with inspiration. You inspire so many people. just now starting to realize this and blossom so be patient with yourself so you have this inner wisdom to find knowledge that can help other serious spiritual teaching could be writing creating that could have been why I wanted to say that whatever you create you inspire people to create to to see things from a new perspective to do whatever just know you inspire people Therefore, they inspire people. Just know that everything is coming together. And you will be with them in this life. You will get everything you wished for. Because you deserve it. If you work and you ask not for it, you deserve it. You deserve that reward. One more card. Been working your ass off and you have not taken the time for yourself. You probably love water or the beach, ocean. It could be the mountains too. There's mountains back here. Whatever. Take some time for yourself. Go play in the water. Just take a relaxing bath. Do something to recharge your batteries and just take time for yourself because you're constantly worried about everyone else. Okay? That is all I have for you. If you want a private reading, check the description box below. If you want testimonials about my readings and people I read, testimonials for my clients, you can check out my website. 
One question is a dollar and eleven cents. Three questions, three dollars thirty-three cents. There's no time stamp. Okay, for three questions, it can go on for like twenty minutes, thirty. Whatever comes out comes out. We all know I like to talk. Ironically, I'm, I can be pretty quiet when you first meet me. You didn't mean I still like to talk. Anyway. You can ask for a, you can ask for a twin flame reading, whatever the question is, yeah. Maybe I should just offer twin flame readings. I'm going to do that. I'm going to offer specific twin flame readings. I don't know the price yet. It might be 11-11. Because. <laughs> anyway. Storm says hi. Thank you for watching. As I was saying, I'm going to get through this eventually. You can ask for a video response or through email. I'll reply to you within a day or two to let you know when your scheduled day will be. And if your scheduled day changes, I will let you know. Um, thank you for watching. Bye.